so first we start recording torus so delta structure on torus and its homology so first let us draw the delta complex associated with torus yeah so this we have already drawn before let us draw it again so let us draw the edges we have triangulated it so let us give orientations so we can give any orientation we feel like yeah so the orientations we can uh, choose what we want to but i have chosen these two orientations uh, just to be compatible with hatcher so upper and lower triangle generate the c2 yeah you know c2 is two dimension so upper and lower triangle generate c2 what about c1 c1 is generated by edges so there are three edges a b c and there is a single vertex v which generates c0 okay an important remark which we will use again and again so if a b are bases then we can transform this basis to a comma a plus b yeah or a comma a minus b in particular if bases are a b c we could transform them to a b comma a plus b plus c or a minus b plus c or a plus b minus c or something like that this is nothing but a linear transformation so you don't have to worry much about it but uh, this important fact we are going to use uh, for the computation and it is often a source of com confusion so obviously you have to multiply delta 0 has to be multiplied by 0 anyway you take a boundary of a single vertex what you get is a 0 so what is h3 delta so obviously there is no complex in c3 or higher dimension so it is zero so same will be true for h4 h5 and so on so for higher dimensions three and higher it is zero what about two now as you see image of delta three is essentially zero because there's nothing coming in so h2 which is kernel over delta uh, kernel over image will just be the kernel of delta two yeah because image of delta 3 is 0 then h2 is kernel of delta 2 over image of delta 3 so we need to describe the elements of h2 so we have to start with elements of c2 so what do elements of c2 look like now we have seen the c2 is generated by upper and lower triangle so the elements are of the form pu plus ql yeah so pu plus ql where p and q are integers so we need to find the kernel of delta 2 so we have to apply delta 2 to this elements yeah so i'm just writing delta that is as good as delta 2 so we apply delta 2 elements of c2 so what is delta 2 of u Yeah, so we have to check the orientations a and b are in the right direction of the drawn orientation c is in the opposite direction yeah as you see the orientation i have drawn in the upper triangle is clockwise lower triangle i have drawn anti-clock orientation b and a are in the right direction c is in the opposite direction so again we have a plus b minus c so you see the generator is a plus b minus c so p plus q yeah integer factors out so this will be p plus q times a plus p minus c because delta 2 u 
and delta 2L are both A plus B minus C. Okay, very clear. So the kernel will be also generated by A plus B minus C. So the kernel would be generated if P is equal to minus Q. So you do have a kernel and the kernel is generated by A plus P minus C precisely when P equals to minus Q or you can say it is generated by U minus L. So there is a single generator. So the kernel is nothing but Z integers itself and the generator is A plus B minus C. Yeah, and this is now the H2. Now let us talk about what is delta 1 map. So delta 1 is nothing but vertex minus vertex, the two vertexes of the edges. So it is always going to be 0 whether you choose it B or C because all of them have the same vertex V. So this map delta 1 is always 0. Kernel of delta 1 is 0. Sorry, image of delta 1 is 0. And the kernel is like all three elements get mapped to 0. So let us first talk about H0 delta T. So again image of delta 1 is 0 but kernel is all three elements get mapped to 0. So for H0 delta T we have kernel of delta 0 over image of delta 1. We have seen the image of delta 1 is 0. Kernel of delta 0 it is generated by the vertex B which is Z. So this is nothing but ring of integers. What about H1 delta T? This is kernel of delta 1 over image of delta 2. So you see that A plus B plus C generate z plus z plus z yeah but we will change basis we will change a b c to a b a plus b minus c now we've already seen that image of delta 2 is generated by a plus b minus c yeah because it always will give you p plus q a plus b minus c so this i'm going to write as a b change of basis a plus b minus c the modular terms cancel out Yeah, so I'm just writing like this so as to show that this is the generator. Yeah, we cancel these two generators out. What you just get is Z plus Z. 